We do have some sad breaking news to share this morning. We just learned that Larry King has died at the age of 87. Yes, that's right. King passed away at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, where he was being treated for coronavirus. NBC's Kevin Tibbles takes a look back at his life. Good evening. For more than 50 years on television and radio. Indianapolis, hello. The famous and the infamous. It was a very traumatic experience. They all opened up to Larry King. Goodbye. My number one motto, I never learned anything when I was talking. Born in Brooklyn in 1933, young Larry Zeiger dreamed of a career in radio. He chose the name King from a liquor store ad after moving to Miami in search of his big break. Did a radio show from Pumpernick's restaurant. Bobby Darren walked in one day. Jimmy Hoffa walked in. Arrested in 1971 for grand larceny, King was acquitted and returned to radio, eventually broadcasting his call-in show nationwide. Welcome to Larry King Live. In 1985, Ted Turner lured him to the fledgling CNN. Any personal regrets? Where he became the network's biggest draw, reaching more than one million people each night. We can stop that without NAFTA, and we can stop that with a good NAFTA. Just How do you stop that without NAFTA? His 1993 NAFTA debate was viewed by 11 million, setting a new record for a cable broadcast. King said his secret was not to over-prepare. Yeah, I was the number one show on television, Larry. You were do you know who I am? And bragged he never read the books his guests promoted. What I worry about is where I think I know too much. The day I go into a studio saying, I've asked all the questions and I've heard all the answers, is the day i got to quit. In 2010, amid faltering ratings, he was replaced with Piers Morgan. For now, for here, it's time to hang up the nightly suspenders. But rather than retire, he took his show to the Internet and later Russian broadcaster RT. I just want to make sure that the election is 100 percent fair. A lifelong Dodgers fan, King survived a heart attack in 1987 and was married eight times to seven different women. I never thought this is strange. In fact, I used to think if people were married for a long time, they were strange. Larry King said he hoped to be remembered as a good father and an interviewer who added to the knowledge of the world. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News. What a legacy. And he was the greatest interviewer. That was appointment TV. I remember watching him with my parents every night. You can watch it back now. And the key to his success sometimes in those interviews was the simplest questions solicited the best answers. Yes, yeah, learned a lot from him. All right. Well, he will be missed. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.